You're not going to believe this. These are some heavy duty, I think they're four mil or three mil uh, trash bags. And what I did is I heat sealed the end of it. with an iron and some uh, aluminum foil and then I heat sealed it all together and then I made a big enough end here so you can stick some um, juice cans grapefruit big grapefruit ju uh, grapefruit juice cans in there and I just blew it up with an electric hair dryer which was enough um, oomph to really get the thing going if you could get a hair dryer mower a motor without the um, without the heating core and figure out what kind of voltage you need you could uh, make this thing work let me just fire this up for a few seconds it's pretty much inflated hold on here spin this over here and let's see what we got here I think There you go. It's inflating up. Okay. The point of the matter is you could hang this out of a window on an apartment or your house or whatever and when the sun's shining on it um, blow air through one side and have it go all the way down to the bottom and come back up. And I think that you could actually heat seal aluminum foil on the inside on the back side so that a lot of that heat would reflect back in and not be lost through the back side of this um, this thing so here's the uh, get some of the heat out I'm um, pleased this is my first attempt what I would do in the future is um, connect all the tubes together and you have to do this on a, a board a real long board and then you got to scooch the stuff up at a time. You probably, um, so you're limited as to how long you can make these things. Um, but in any event, uh, I think it's worth uh, pursuing. I'm going to bring this back to Tawanda and uh, make a, a block in the window and connect this in there and get some fans so when the temperature comes up with the sun, it'll blow air through and see what kind of um, heat I get back into the house. It's cheap enough. And it'll probably last all winter. Anyhow, that's the deal. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Okay, this is the second uh, inflation of my um, solar hot air collector made out of industrial thickness um, black plastic bags. And I have finally a, uh, I have a uh, dryer here that I think will not put out all kinds of uh, heat. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Got to inflate. No, enough of the animals. This is a hot air collector that you hang out of your window. And when the sun hits it, you blow air in and it comes out here hot, up to the top. Bag. That's the problem with society. People like you don't care about the environment. Here you go. The air is coming out of here. And obviously this is a... Um, with, with the right blower, you can keep this thing filled. But it seems to uh, work pretty damn good. That's the lady the dog. We'll bring this up to Pennsylvania and see how it uh, how it works. Uh, I used an iron and aluminum foil and some newspaper to get the seal down the center. Actually, I used a um, a broomstick to. Uh, we got plenty of that plastic mag. All right. Okay, this is the second uh, inflation of my um, solar hot air collector made out of industrial thickness um, black plastic bags and I have finally a uh, I have a uh, dryer here that I think will not put out all kinds of uh, heat so let's see what happens here we go got 
Got to inflate. No, enough of the animals. This is a hot air collector that you hang out of your window. And when the sun hits it, you blow air in and it comes out here hot, up to the top. Bag. That's the problem with society. People like you don't care about the environment. There you go. The air is coming out of here. And obviously this is a... Um, with, with the right blower, you can keep this thing filled. But it seems to uh, work pretty damn good. That's the lady the dog. We'll bring this up to Pennsylvania and see how it uh, how it works. I uh, used an iron and aluminum foil and some newspaper to get the seal down the center. Actually, I used a um, a broomstick to. Uh, we got plenty of that plastic mag. All right. Hi, this is Joe Dupont, and I want to go over this concept of heat sealing with. Um, an iron, a conventional clothing iron, some aluminum foil. Uh, you could probably lubricate it with pam, spam or whatever the hell it is. These are scraps of um, black polyethylene. And this is some high density polyethylene that's used on these various type of uh, water containers. And these can be actually heat sealed to the low density polyethylene um, so that um, you can let's see if I can do this. Yeah, that looks like you can do something here. So what you can do is you can take the plastic, lay it down, and put some aluminum foil. This is the beef up in area. Let's say you have a um, a rip in a tarp. You can just lay down the uh, poly poly the uh, aluminum foil over it and essentially iron it. Now the key thing is to be able to cool it back off so that you don't rip the plastic as you try to take it off. And that can be done by just leaving it there and letting and then going on to another location or you could take a wet rag and help cool it off that way. I guess you could take a bag of ice, that'd be ice water, and um, do it that way. So eventually, you can peel this off. I put together my um, I put together my um, greenhouse that way by wrapping this type of stuff around my hoops and then heat sealing the clear material on the plastic on the hoops. Now this is a um, I did some over here. These are um, fixing points where I can punch holes in here and put ropes in or strings and hold this particular thing which will be eventually an inflatable hot air collector. So what you can do is you can lay this thing here and then um, this piece here which is cut out, not critical, lay it down and then use the iron to heat seal this high density to the low density and you have to do both sides because the um, this is a much higher temperature material than the uh, low density polyethylene that's used in the uh, the bag material. Typically what they do is they put some ethylene vinyl acetate for impact uh, low temperature impact resistance and a lot of um, a lot of um, polyethylene materials have the EVA, especially like freezer bags, otherwise they just split and, and break in the cold temperature. So that's what I wanted to show you. I picked up this concept with a, um, a guy who was doing farming in bags and he was complaining that the bag material um, was not stiff enough for him to uh, make decent bags to throw dirt in. So he made his own. And then um, I realized that you could do this and I actually use it when I'm sending books. I'll wrap uh, a box up with the polyethylene and then I'll heat seal all the polyethylene together and it's like a cheap um, adhesive. 
I mean, it's not coming apart. And if you put clear polyethylene over or uh, over the um, the label, uh, then you can heat seal that label right onto the right onto the uh, right onto the material. Here's the um, the reinforcement point. I didn't do one on the back, but that's uh, what we're talking about. Anyhow, um, keep on looking at this um, concept of using using um, heat sealing of the polyethylene to um, enhance uh, your projects. Like I said, you need an iron, and uh, that's it.